a story. And who did this one again? This is from St. Anselm's, Meredith Graham and her two friends, her artist friends and the Arts Society. These are from the, um, one of the local colleges here in the Manchester right. area. It is beautiful, Tony. And now let's go to the last one, Tony. Now what is this all about? It's beautiful. This one is not completed, you said. No, this isn't completed yet. You're still working on still it. Still working on it. This will be probably another AmCam panel to thank everybody at AmCam for look at that butterfly. giving me the space to work. And you started with just this pose, yes. and then you went to the butterflies and to the flower. And you're not going to give the rest away, are you? No. We're going to have to wait and see when it hangs up. Right. I'm going to decide when. Are you calling this one something? Uh, not yet, yeah, but it's going to have something to do with spring. Obviously. Yeah, spring and summer. Spring or summer. Mm -hmm. But all, all will have titles and then we'll list the artists and, and the titles and where they're going to be located. Is there another side to this panel? Uh, have you done anything on the other side? We'll just call this Ultimate Butterfly. It is the ultimate. Ultimate, ultimate Butterfly. Look at the colors on there again. And how long did it take you to do this one? Again, you didn't do it couple 24 days, hours days. straight, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, a couple days here and there. And Anthony, you are from Manchester. Yes. Were you born and raised here? Born in Boston, Mass. And how long have you been in Manchester? Too long. Too long? Never no, too long. I've been in Manchester since 1988. Okay. I don't think I'm going to retire. Almost as long as I have. I've been here since 1986. 1986? So. Yeah. Uh, you got to retire in Manchester? Probably. Now there's a lot of art in this community, as you can see, people. I mean, it's all over. It's all over this room. And who would like to close this program? I'm going to speak for Sharon. So we need two things to continue this program. We need more artists yes. to volunteer to do the panels. Yes. And we need more businesses and other community buildings that would be willing to uh, showcase a these four lovely by arts. Four piece of art. They're four by four and they're on double sides. So eventually they will be uh, turned around. They will be rotated by monthly. So it's like a, it's a, actually it's like a tour. It's a rotating art exhibit mm -hmm. all, is, yes. all over the city what did she say <laughs> all over the city and I, I I'm sorry if I'm remiss but I had to at least show who is in charge of <laughs> Cheryl I'm not in charge yeah well you, Anthony is in charge but you are the leader of the Eagle Eye group and the Eagle Eye group does so much good for the city and uh, it does more than just art I mean, you do Christmas programs for the chorus of the kids. Uh, and you do, and you also paint garage doors instead of uh, for panels instead or other doors instead of graffiti. Uh, you help uh, get rid of graffiti and teach kids to do real good art instead. So you're, in a sense, you are one of our educators. Thank you. Very you are, much. and uh, you bring a, a, a positive aspect to the city, and that's. From what I know of you, and I've known you several years now, that's the kind of person you are. You take a negative, and you make a positive out of it. You try. You, you also try to. You also belong to a a neighbor watch, Eagle Eyes, and uh, you work very hard on making sure that there is no crime committed in your. If you can help it, no crime will be committed in your neighborhood. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. This has been a great program. I want to thank Cheryl and all you lovely people, as well as Tony. Tony, he worked so hard. Where did Tony go? Tony has worked so hard in organizing this, and he's done a great job. Thank you very much. Go ahead, you clap. Thank <laughs> you.
Tony, you're gonna have to speak loud. You're on, and we're gonna close the program. And these are friends, visitors, and artists who have actually created these panels. Tony, the show is yours. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, this well moved forward. We all get together. This well happened. Uh, happy with what I see tonight. And we have the panels coming in. So stick around with us. We'll be back. And look throughout the community of Manchester for these panels coming in June. Sometimes in June. A town near you. <laughs> thank you very much. The name of the program is called? Artist. Thank you very much. Go ahead. And you are? My name is Dee Christ. And what do you call this panel? Uh, I started it out as a seascape or a sunsetscape, but it's oh, just playing around with uh, spray paint and sharpie and the fact that oh, depending on what the environment is, this is going to be shown in. It could be shown either way. There's no horizontal or um, vertical. It's whatever works out. No. <laughs> so actually, it works any which way. Yeah, it's an abstract. Any which, it's, it's an abstract. It is gorgeous. It is. And what's on the other side? What is the theme on this one? Obviously, it's education. Um, I just wanted to do a tower of books, and I used it to help teach my step granddaughter a little bit about painting. It is so Help beautiful. you learn how to hold a brush and how to mix colors and how to make a mess. So you're telling me that your 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 say your granddaughter? Uh, step -granddaughter. Your step granddaughter uh, assisted you in doing this one? Uh, yep. She did the swirlies. She learned how to mix some paint. So she learned how to mix some of the greens. Well, you cleaned it up very well because it, it's perfect. <laughs> and you are again? My name is Dee Christ. And where are you from? I'm from Manchester, New Hampshire. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is beautiful. Okay, Deb, you want to explain your panel and why you did this panel and who it represents and what it represents? Well, this one really has a story because this one um, is actually a joint project between my daughter and I. She uh, decided, well, we both decided something New England for this panel. So she picked the barn and she started painting, well, I actually sketched it on, came back, and she had started painting it. So, um, and it was the day before she was leaving to join the Air Force. She could have been doing anything, but no, she wanted to work on this panel. So I left her at 11.30 that night, trying to finish her part of it, and then she left for boot camp. So, we decided before she left, we wanted to make it look like postcards, so I finished it, I added the lettering, I added the bottom and the top, and I just highlighted some of the areas that she had left. So this is how it ended up. Okay. You want to turn it around to the other side? Sure. Okay. That looks like a little Liberty Bell. Kind of, I guess, huh? I guess you could, you could say that. This was actually...